Hi everyone, in this video we'll take a look at breakout rooms and breakout groups in Butter. Now if you have been a part of any virtual meetings or workshops where the facilitators want to divide the participants into groups and then let them as a group work on a particular task, uh, then you know what I'm talking about. Now in Butter, this is possible and it is possible very, very smoothly. Managing these breakout groups and breakout rooms is super, super simple. And of course, your participants will love the experience as well. So let's dive right in. Now this view that I have on my screen is the facilitator's view and a meeting is currently work in progress. Um, now let's say if I want to add a breakout, uh, breakout room uh, or a breakout group, what I can do is I can click on toolbox, click on add tool and then I have an option for breakouts. So when you click on create a breakout session, you have two options, groups and rooms. Now what is the difference? If you have participated in breakout sessions before, it would be much more closer to groups. Uh, what happens here is the facilitator decides the number of groups uh, and it can randomize the, the participants uh, so that the split happens randomly, the participants go into different groups uh, and after the, the allocated time they can come back to the main room. But in this case the participants cannot actually see the other groups and cannot decide to go into another group. But whereas in rooms all the facilitator has to do is just create these open rooms and uh, you the facilitator can allocate participants to certain rooms but what if they if they don't allocate it the participants can see all the rooms available and they can decide which room they'd like to go into so in other words groups are private groups and rooms are public groups at least to the participants uh, so depending on what your use cases, you might either choose groups or rooms, uh, but the effect of, of actually splitting people up and then, you know, uh, doing a particular task and then bringing all of them back into the main room still happens the same. So just a minor difference. So first, let's take a look at groups. So if I click on groups, I can say this has called this as test and group. A minimum participants per group because this is a demo. Uh, and I have only two participants. Let me just make this as one. Uh, so as you can see, as I'm updating things on the left, on the right, things get updated in real time, gives me a preview of what's happening. Uh, as you can see, two groups have been created. I can drag the participants here uh, and allocate them, uh, or I can just leave it as it is. Now the group's na group name can be normal, or you could have like Pokemon group names. Uh, so that can be randomized as well. You can give it a duration. So, you know, people break out for let's say one minute or two minutes or 15 minutes and then people can be brought back. Each group you can add tasks. Uh, so for example, this is task one for the group and just save. Uh, and you can add multiple tasks if you want to. And once the participants go into that group, they will be able to see this task. Tools, uh, similar to what we have been looking throughout the series, if you want to allocate or assign uh, certain tools only to certain groups, so not for the entire session, but only for that group, then you can do it right away. So for example, if you foresee that uh, people will be, you will need a whiteboard, you can assign it to all the groups. Uh, let's say all groups whiteboard and click on save uh, and a whiteboard will get assigned to both the groups or you can assign some things to only uh, a single group so you don't have to assign it to both the groups by default so that is the configuration for groups now if I save it for later I can see that my group has been created 
and I will what I'll do is I'll just quickly even click on this right so breakout groups are forming in uh, you know five seconds I can click on start now for the groups to happen right now um, I can go and take out overview um, has facilitators we sit over here uh, there's a main room over here but the users will go into these groups there you go uh, so it gives them a countdown as well that they'll be assigned to one of these groups now if I click on the uh, participants view I can see that um, the participant will get the whiteboard assigned which which uh, is what we did and they can they'll see the list of tasks that they need to do so I can say I've completed my task I can call for help as well and this will call the facilitator for help so if I move to the facilitator view I can see that there's a notification here this group name has asked for help so I can either join the room or I can just remove the request now as a facilitator I can broadcast a message to all the groups or I can broadcast a message or well I can just send a message to just one specific group as a facilitator I can observe I can observe what's happening in the group and I can click on join group to also directly join the group so that is a quick demo on groups uh, before we move out uh, back to the participant view you can see that apart from the timer there is no other option to go into another group so as I said groups are private uh, now this participant does not know about uh, other groups that have been created and cannot uh, self allocate to to another group now to end groups as a facilitator we can click on end breakout they will end the session we go back to the main room and for a participant uh, it gives a countdown of 30 seconds and then it will automatically take the participants to the main room you can click on the button and go to the main room as well so um, in the main room you will see as people sort of end the group session they'll start jumping back into the main room so that was groups uh, very simple simple to use really uh, we saw we, we looked at broadcast you know we, we had a chat message with other uh, other groups individually and then you can send all the groups uh, a chat message um, as a participant we asked for help as a participant we seen that we cannot look at other groups uh, but a facilitator can observe groups and can join a group if needed so that that's that's groups for you next we'll take a look at rooms so to do that uh, from the list of tools we click on breakouts and then click on rooms the configuration for rooms is very similar to uh, to to groups uh, so everything everything sort of should feel already feels uh, familiar give this a name uh, so this is a uh, just a room test click on multiple rooms uh, for another minute now the only difference here is that I can add a task for all the rooms or I can add a task for specific rooms so I can say task 1 for room 1 and then for all the rooms I can say global task 1 now of course you can edit the message as you actually like um, but this is a demo so I'm just keeping it very simple and as you can see the number of tasks is listed here and you can see room 2 currently has no task um, but it will get the task from all rooms so there you go once again you can assign a whiteboard or any other tool from this list to either a to either all the rooms or to just one room so let's try room 2 whiteboard let's do this So as you can see, uh, room 2 whiteboard has been assigned to room 2 uh, but not to room 1. Now in terms of assigning the participants, I can assign them randomly. So if I click on that, it will go randomly or the participant themselves can uh, go into each 
uh, to to any of the rooms that they prefer so let's try that so for now we'll just save this and then click on this room test so it's open rooms empty rooms uh, we'll go to the breakout area we'll let the participants decide which room they want to go into so if I open up this view so this is my participant view again the purple chrome um, and I can decide whether I want to go to the room 1 back to the main room or room 2 so here I'll decide I want to go to room 1 this has two tasks the task 1 that is for room 1 and task that is a global task as well so again I can call for help I can see all my tasks now the other difference here is that I can see the rooms now what I can do is I can always switch to a different room and in this room I see that the whiteboard is already in place and I already have another participant in this room now what I can do is over here I can also view the tasks and you can see over here that room 2 does not have its own task but it ha does have the global task that it needs to uh, that participants need to complete so you can always click that to just ensure that you know uh, you have checked all the boxes um, and um, you have completed all the tasks again you can call for help uh, and the facilitator will get a notification uh, saying that you know room 2 has asked for help so let's go back to what the facilitator sees again you can observe a room or you can join the room so that's again the same you can broadcast your message to all the rooms or to selected rooms and then of course you can uh, straight away end the breakout session uh, or you can extend the duration so let's end the breakout session end the session go back to the main room and as you can see all the participants will also go to the main room so all the participants are back to the main room the breakout session is over uh, and that was this video we had a look at groups and we had a look at breakout rooms the only difference between a group and a room is that a group is private um, other participants cannot see the other groups and cannot go into the other groups by themselves but they can see other rooms and go into other rooms by themselves we also noticed that uh, groups can be randomly named but uh, rooms cannot be randomly named so you would have to uh, either stick to the default room 1, room 2, room 3 or edit the room name yourself so those are the few differences hope you like this video um, Give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments below if you have used um, other breakout sessions and what do you think of this breakout session for butter like share subscribe and stay tuned uh, for more videos to come on this channel